Hello guys and girls and welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines Industries with me Biffo and here we are outside our factories that we set up in the last episode and they are humming along nicely. I'm really, really loving this. We have our modular house factory here, which is gathering all the stuff together. We have so many metals, so many metals that are coming in. Now, what we can do as well to try and help with the storage of these items is we can actually put um, storage over here to try and help things move around a lot more smoothly. So we have them sort of set up, for instance, the oil here is storing the oil to go into here to make these, but I'm pretty sure we can set up. Let's jump over into warehouses. Yes, we have a warehouse yard, a small warehouse, a medium warehouse, and a large warehouse. Now, it's normally like the plastics that we're pretty sure of. So what we could do, if we take, how big is that? Warehouse yard, that sort of size, small warehouse. I reckon we could sort of slip that in here. I think it will go for the yard. Oh, that won't quite go in. Let's go for this one then. There we go. The small warehouse. And we can have in there plastics. Excellent. And as stuff turns up, it will get loaded into there. And hopefully keep a nice stock that will then be taken across to here. Because that's something that's been a bit of an issue. If we keep it, plastics are produced by naphtha cracker plants and petrochemical plants. Yep, we're doing that. Cannot be imported. Has to be produced locally. Can be exported for money. Okay, that's fine. So we'll keep that one going. Hopefully that'll work nicely. Got a new radio station going as well. The synthetic radio station. Syn synthetic dawn station. Which is one of the new things that have been added on the DLC as well. So, yep. Hopefully that music is not too loud. So, and what is this one short of? Flowers and animal products. So could I put like a little warehouse over here for those as well? Let's get this one this time. Warehouse yard. Uh, balanced animal products. And whatever the other one was. We'll pop one of those there right next to it. Uh, it was flour, and then we'll see how that goes. Flowers. So they cannot be imported, has to be produced locally. Yep, that's good. So that'll work out well with that. Um, just thinking, actually. I'm going to move that. That is going to go there. And that is also going to go up there next to that. So that is flowers, animal products. Yep, all nicely stored. Let's see how that goes and helps with the balance. Do we have some in there? We might need to increase our plastic production. But anyway, we're getting very close. While we're thinking about that, we're getting very close to leveling up. We basically just need to get some more workers in here. And we did have some new items unlocked as well in our ore area. We've got this here, the ore storage, which we haven't used. And we've got the glass manufacturing plant. Yes, we have. We've got the ore grinding mill. Yeah, we've used that one. We haven't done the small ore mine underground. It sort of depends what our storage is, to be honest. I mean, our storage is pretty much okay. So I'll tell you what, let's pop down this ore storage anyway, because that's going to give us some new jobs. I've stuck it over there, but actually, I'm just seeing if I could sort of change this around a bit. I'm going to move this line here. Just to give ourselves a little bit more space along here, let us do this. So if we go up there, like that, and then go straight along here with this one. There we go, we should be able to hook that up nicely. Excellent, good. So that gives us this bit of space up here. Just wondering whether we could somehow put that in the top, if we just rearrange these roads a teeny tiny bit. Let's grab that and build that one out there. Uh, can I build this one out here? No. Oh, that's a shame. Can I move those over? Yes, I can. There we go. And that will probably give me enough space. Oh, just. And we could even connect that to there. Why not? Good. So let's move our gas manufacturing plant into there. Oh, that is perfect. There we go. And then our storage will probably move into here. Will it not? Oh, what's in the way? Okay, that's all right. We can move this. That can come over to there. There we go. And then we move this over to here. Yep. 
excellent. There we go. Good, good, good. So that's given us another load of jobs. Another 15 jobs when that fills up. Oh, I love this. This uh, synth, synth pop rock station is, is my kind of music. <laughs> I like it. I listen to all sorts, really. Classical as well. I, mean, I like the normal classical station that's on here. I, I listen to all sorts, but this is particularly nice. Um, yeah, so that's going to start building up. We're going to see how that goes. Let's nip over to our oil area while the game is saving. And then we'll check that out. There we go. That's filled up with stuff as well. Oh, it's, it's got some stuff going in. Nice looking ore there being processed and dropped out. Something I noticed yesterday on this storage one over here. Yeah, this one here. Looking cool. I like that. Right, let's head over to the oil. See if we can put down some of the new items here as well. To help this to expand. Oriental Park. Why is the name gone a bit weird there? That's a bit odd, isn't it? Never mind. So what have we got under here? We unlocked some stuff, didn't we? We've got the Oil Industry Workers Barracks. We have one of those down. We've got the Small Oil Drilling Rig. So that is going to produce up to 6,400. I mean, where would be a good spot for that? 6,400 along here quite happily. So maybe that would be a good spot. Let's just turn that off. Like along here. I always feel like you need more than one of those. Is that going to kick in? Start working? There we go. Look, yeah, you can see the little thing going up and down. So, I mean, we're really going to be making lots of oil, aren't we? And that's going to give us a total of an extra 60 workers. And I don't think we're that far off. Franklin Petroleum. Yeah, look, I mean... Four more workers, three more workers, and we've upgraded this area as well. There we go. We've done it. Excellent. Uh, can you close that for me so we can see what we've got? So plus 30% efficiency, minus 20% pollution, large oil pump, a toy factory, and an oil industry storage. Well, let's just take a look at those. So the large oil pump. Oh, it's like four in one. Eh? Yeah, okay. Well, we don't need that at the moment. We're okay. What's this one? Where's the one that we've got? This is the one. Two dome shelters for storing oil industry raw materials. Storage buildings can be placed outside industry area. Interesting. So we'll come back to that. But we have the toy factory has now been unlocked. Is that going to be one of these up here? Soft paper factory, clothing factory, lemonade factory, printing press, toy factory. There we go. Excellent. It needs paper, plain timber, and plastic. I reckon we could stick one of those in our new area. Let's have a look over here. And then we're going to start making those goods to go out. We're still sort of running short on paper and a flower. How's this storage going? So we've got some of those in there and some of those in there. It's that thing again where we've got flour in there, but no flour in here. So who's moving them from here to there? <laughs> what are these trucks doing? So they're dropping them all off. Look. Putting, oh, the boxes go in as well and fill up more. No way. I've never noticed that before. That is fantastic. Oh, and now this is filling up too. Okay, that's fine. Good, good, good. So let's put in our industrial state over here, another factory. Let's add in the toy factory. How's this one going to go? If I anarchy that in, that should be fine. That looks a bit weird, doesn't it? I'll tell you what we're going to do then. We'll change that. We'll have that come along. Say, to there. Come down here. I'm just sort of making this shape up as I go along. And can we curve that into there? Yeah, why not? And then we've got some space for factories over here. Let's carry this big road along. If we can. And it's not going to upset the... Yeah, that's fine. There we go. So we've got this sort of space in here we can build on. Excellent. Let's maybe carry that along there. Good. Well, let's put this factory down and see what we need for that. So, the toy factory. Let's maybe have that on its own little section here. Yeah, there we go. Nice. You've got the rubber duck in the front. Oh, look at that. 
What's that? Tiny toys. Excellent. So what can we learn about this? Let's have a look. It needs paper, plain timber, and plastics. And it's going to produce toys, which are going to get shipped out. There we go. Already plastics are being dropped off. So we're already storing... Uh, nothing there that's going to help. This one here. Plastics. So paper and plain timber are the two things that we want to get stored over here. So let us go for a couple of small warehouses. I'm going to run a road. Like up to there like that. And we're going to try and get two of these in there. Excellent. So we're going to have paper and then we're going to have planed timber. Where is that? Plain timber. There we go. It's all in alphabetical order. Shouldn't be too difficult. So that's the warehouses out the back for this. And it's already filling up with stuff. Oh man, we are going to be making so much money. That is fantastic. How are we doing over here with this one upgrading? We must be close, surely. Oh, some people have left. Why have you left? We've got health and safety things going on here. Hmm, I wish there was an overall view you could get of what people oh there is right here this is exactly what i'm looking at thank you very much so again we need uneducated workers that's what's happening we've got although actually we've got more well educated and highly educated than we need we've got 26 jobs available i think we just need some more people in an area i mean we were going to make this a park we still could but i'm thinking we just need to zone look we've got a big need Oh, just what, just what I don't like on a radio station is the adverts. There we go. Oh, look at that. People are moving in like mad. Once you've heard the adverts once or twice and sort of got the joke, hitting them again while I'm trying to talk and do, and do a video make, is quite difficult. Anyway. There we go. They're all moving in. This area looks nice, doesn't it? I like those buildings. Excellent. So I reckon it ain't going to be long. And that will kick in. Look, we've got more people coming over here to work. Nice. That's good. So now we've got this one and this one all wanting plastics and this one. So our plastic production is pretty low at the moment. So we're going to need to try and increase that. And then we're going to have to expand and get some more people in. So that is making petroleum, petrochemical plant making the plastic. I mean, we've got tons of oil. So we obviously need another petrochemical plant. Let's just drop that in. Uh, that's a storage cavern, petrochemical plant. We fit one in. Yes, excellent. So we've doubled our plastic production. And in fact, we're going to extend this road. We're, sort of, we're going to extend that up to there. Because we might end up building some more stuff off the side here. A lot of in life Another advert? We've just had an advert. Calm it with the adverts, will you? There we go. Filling up with oil. Filling up with oil. That is what we want to see and get the plastic going out. Excellent. So, let's have a look. We do have an option to unlock a square. I'd like to unlock these over here because we'll get access to more oil. I want to get this one so we can... But we've got these where we haven't built any yet. So I want to sort of maybe use those before. We've got a huge farming area we can we can build over here. Hmm. How are we doing over here? Let's have a look. So still the plastic, still the plastics. Hopefully... That animal products is filling up. That flowers is filling up. Let's... Plain timber, paper. Let's get a plastic storage down here as well. I think that will help. That can sort of go here, can't it? Yeah, let's do that. And hopefully, let's make that ooh, a large ware. Wow, that is massive. How much does that hold compared to the small one? Uh, capacity, 100,000. 250,000. 400,000. And 750,000. Let's go for this one then. Put that there. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to hook up correctly on there. Let us just do a bit of this. And that one. And that one. 
Yeah, that's okay. So that is going to fill up with plastics. And they cannot be imported. So to be honest, we might as well have that filled. Because that is an end product that's going to be used over here. Um, whereas things like flour and the animal products, they're being used elsewhere. The plain timber's being used elsewhere. Whoa, what are these guys doing? Exporting plain timber products. Because we've got so much. Look. Oh no, we've put it on balance. Let's put it on fill. And then it won't suddenly go out and sell a load. And we'll just keep some. And we'll put that on fill as well. And hopefully that'll be okay. Um, over here. Let's just have a quick look at the industry. Where is it? This is what I want. The overview. Yeah, the plain timber is just... Uh, again, it's a final thing. A final output product. It's not being used for anything other than the factories. So... Yeah, let's go with that one. And hopefully these will start getting filled up. And keep this running nicely. So we'll, we'll keep our eyes on that. Oh, less people working there again. <laughs> I keep expecting these to... Oh, that's gone to level 3. We're heading up to level 4. Fantastic. That is good. That is what we want to see. So I wonder what I can do to get more people to work here. Look, their numbers are dropping. Maybe just expand and get more people in. That's probably going to help. So let us head over here. So we've we've unlocked all of this area. We could build down here. Is there any... I mean, this will be marked as forestry just because there's a lot of trees there. But we can, we can make sort of forestry area anywhere. Where's the highway? Oh, man. The highway's up there. Through here. We haven't got a good road connection to this side, have we? Until we can unlock the highway and bring that through. I tell you what, let's use this little spot here. Let's see if we can get a really highly densely packed and attractive area for people to move into over here. This is what we're going to do. We're going to get that big road through there. That's going to connect to that. That didn't connect up very well. Let's try that again. Let's just delete that there. That is not the road I want. I wanted the one with trees. Do, 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 do. There we go. And then we'll have that go down there. And that go there. Excellent. And we'll do the same up here. We'll just get that as far as we can. Shall I connect it there as well? Yeah, there we go. We'll do that. And then in the middle, we're going to take this one. And let's see. And we're just going to grid this up. But make it a really nice place to live. There we go. That'll do. We've got some different size grids. May as well extend that one over there. Let's add our water pipes in. Keep everybody in here happy. Excellent. Connect that up. Good, good, good. What shall we get in here? I mean, we've got access to a lot of unique buildings. Maybe there's something in here. That will be quite good. I mean, Bird and Bee Haven. What about Central Park? I really like that one. Oh, what's this one here? Village Church. Mm, helicopter Park. Old Market Street. Oh, man, I forget. There's so many cool things in here. Got distracted by all this new industry stuff. Where's Central Park? Aha, there we go. Fantastic. This is going to be a great place to live. Let's zone this in. There we go. I'm trying to think who this... There's a band that I, I've liked listening to in the past that does this sort of music. And I can't think of their name offhand. I'm going to look it up before the end of the episode. And it's just this sort of almost 80s style synth pop rock type stuff. Uh, yeah, I don't know what it is. I can't. I have, to, I have to have a think. I have to have a think. Should we go for the self-sufficient buildings? No, let's go for the normal style buildings. We'll go for high density... We'll get some shops in here as well. We're going to do some there and some there. And then the rest of this is going to be high density. And hopefully we're going to get a nice boost of people moving in. Uh, yeah, let's do that bit round there. Here they come. Here they come. Excellent. Just what we want to see. Hopefully the electricity will jump over as well. Very good, very good. Don't really have any need for the shops yet. Let's do that. Let's check the electricity. No, let's help them out. We'll stick one of these right there. There we go. 
Let's just check all their needs have been taken care of. Yes, they are. What else are they going to need? What else are they going to need? Yeah, some healthcare and things. Let's maybe snick some of that in here. Just before a load of shops move in. There we go. We'll get a fire station over that side with a police station and a couple of schools up the top here. We'll go with that one and that one. How are we looking? Yeah, elementary schools. Always could do with more of those. But we're happy to keep some people unemployed. Uh, unemployed. Uneducated. Even though these will take on whatever people they can get. They don't... Oh, wow. The people are dropping down here like mad. Blooming neck. Well, I don't know why that is. But hey-ho, there we go. Wow. Suddenly that filled in, didn't it? Lynch Square. Let's change the name of that. We're going to grab a name. For one of my patrons who is on my Discord server at the moment, this is going to be... Let's have a look. Excellent. This is going to be Luddy Square. Thank you very much for your support on Patreon. Thank you very much for hanging out on my Discord as well. Oh, what a lovely place to live. Look, that is just filled in so quickly. Let's just make sure any gaps are still filled in. Yeah. I'll leave this little bit here, but we need more people. We still have a huge demand. So what about this section over here? We've got this road we can build off down here. So let's do a similar thing. Let's just take this road out. And up, because why not? Let's go there. What should we do? Do we want to connect that on, or should we? We might connect that up there at some point. What road's that? That's quite a big road, isn't it? So maybe if we go like this. Connect that up there. And do that one there as well. There we go. That will give us some squares to work with. And then we can come across here with that one. Yep. It's the sound of refreshment. I'm just wondering whether we could curve that one in. Let's give a little space there. Yeah, there we go. What is that? What are you doing? Adverts. There we go. We can do that. Can I fit one in here? No. Well, that's fine. I don't mind that with the little train station there. Uh, the little train thingy, my Bobby. Yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. So let us see. What could we put over here? <laughs> the Statue of Colossus. No, probably not. Sparkly unicorn, rainy coat. Uh, Theatre of Wonders. Noise pollution, 25. Entertainment, 105. Are you complaining for lack of water? You are. What do we need to do? Our budget is maxed out. Okay, let's come over here. Let's increase our water sucky up ability. There we go. And there we go. Excellent. Yeah, let's go with that. And then maybe something else over here as well. Something a little bit smaller. Bird and Bee Haven. A nice little park area. Let's see if we can get that in the middle over here. I take this road. And we're going to go... Like that. Like that. And like that. And we're going to get our Bird and Bee Haven in there. Yeah, and then what we're going to do is we're going to... Oh, it's on a slope, isn't it? We're going to sort of line that up a bit. That'll be okay. That'll be fine. Right, let's zone that. We're going to get a ton of people in here. Where's the zone tool? There it is. I want the big one. Let's zone all of that. Oh, hang on a second. We've got a problem. Houston, we got a problem. I'm seeing people complaining about things. What are you complaining about? So sewage is too low, power... Okay, that's fine. I'm still waiting for the decent sewage stuff to kick in before I upgrade it. So, I mean, these eco water outlets, to be honest, they're pretty rubbish. We're just sticking with the normal ones for now. And then when the really good ones kick in, we'll upgrade everything. Excellent. We have our zone, Amity Park. This is going to be JC2406 Park. There we go. Thank you very much. For your support in the various places. Very much appreciate it. Let's actually fill this out a bit. 
I want to make sure we get plenty of people living in here. Yep, let's do that. That's okay. Let's run some... This down there. Can I do another one? No, that'll be fine. Could even fill up this spot up here. Why not? Why the heck not? We just need as many people as possible. Yeah, and then one through the middle there. And then one through the middle here. Yeah. There we go. That's good. Right, let's fill this in. Uh, do we need services over here? Possibly. I tell you what we're going to put over here is a sauna. Let's get a sauna in there. We still don't have like a medical helicopter depot anywhere. That's got a pretty big noise thing. Could we squeeze that in there and hope that these people don't complain? Maybe. Let's give that a try. Uh, fire. What is this one here? It keeps telling me. Fire station. Yeah, we looked at that. Police. Yeah, let's stick a small police station next to the sauna. They can run over and have a bit of a bit of a sauna after a hard day's policing. Okay, let's fill these in. Yeah, all moving in already. Some of these I might change to commercial, actually. In fact, I think I might just change these to commercial. There we go. And we just do need a few offices. So I'm going to chuck a few offices just along there. Excellent. And then around this bird and... Oh, my voice. Around this bird and bee haven. Around this bird and bee haven. Bee haven. <laughs> thinking of Austin Powers. Behave around this bird and behaving. We're going to just put a nice little sort of load of trees in here as well. Just to sort of make this a really nice little area. There we go. Good, good, good. Yep. That looks nice. Yeah, people are moving in. What are you up to? 23,000 nearly. Perfect. Have we got all of this marked out? Yeah, more people are moving as we get there. Good, good, good. Oh, what have we got going on in the middle here? This is filled up. Let's empty that out. Little mini death wave going on, but we're sort of overcoming that by the fact that we're expanding so much as well. What are you needing? You're short on oil. Really? It's that same thing again. We've got tons of oil, but nobody's moving it. Uh, let's have a look. Do we have... Yeah, we've got logistics on. What about advanced automation? Yeah, let's keep it going as it is. We'll just leave it like it is. And see if that's okay. We're getting up to level four. We're so close. A few more workers. A hundred more workers and we're there. This one, we're getting very close again. I think I need to put something in here to just help upgrade this thing. So, how's our glass manufacturing going? Lots of ore, not too much ore, lots of ore in there. Let's kick out some more glass manufacturing. Oh, that's going to be hard to get in. Um, maybe over this way. Let's let's go that side. Let's take this road. Although we're starting to get our industry traffic heading across there, though. Whether that's going to end up being a problem or not, I suppose it remains to be seen. We'll find out. Hey, there we go. Brilliant. Can you please close that down for me? Franklin Petroleum. We now have the waste oil refinery plant, large oil drilling rig, oil industry maintenance building, large crude oil tank farm, petroleum refinery. Brilliant. That is what we wanted to see. We'll go and check that in a sec. Let's just expand this out to here. Let's have it like that. There we go. Whoa! Shadalak ore has reached level 3. Brilliant. So, rotary kiln plant, electronics factory, seabed mining vessel, medium ore mine. Ooh, that is going to be cool. That is going to be cool. Oh, these areas, look. They're growing and expanding. Absolutely brilliant. Do you know what this music reminds me of? Tupperware Remix Party. TWRP. That's the name of the band. This sort of music, absolutely one of my favourite bands. 
Hit the big B with a T stone to subscribe. Check out one of the videos on the screen to see some more City Skylines Industries DLC. I will be back here tomorrow for the next episode. Thank you for watching. Look at our city looking lovely. I'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.